What's going on guys? Cowboy King here. I wanted to share something with you guys. Um, I'm in this abandoned tree house. It's called the, the tree house, the minister's tree house is what this place is called. Just got done exploring it, make a video of it, got some pictures of it. Um, and it's definitely cool. Super interesting, nothing I've ever been to before. Um, there's writings everywhere, there's scripture everywhere, there's pictures everywhere. Definitely something cool. And I think being in this type of place reminds me of the scripture of Matthew 7, 24. And I'm gonna read some scripture to you and I'm just gonna give you guys a few words of encouragement, things that was been placed on my heart uh, and something that I think could really transform your life if you allow it to. This is gonna be in Matthew chapter seven, verses 24 through 27. And if you know anything about Matthew, you know the scripture I'm about to read to you. It says, everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and a great was the fall of it. So I'm encouraging you today that this is a reminder for me um, and the, the title of this, um, these verses is called Building Your House on the Rock. Let me tell you something from firsthand experience and I know there's many out, others out there who have had way harder conditions growing up um, family members and friends and you guys come from all different kinds of areas of your life but one thing I wanted to say is if you base your opinions on or if you base your identity and who you are and what people t say things about you or even in this world for that matter you will always 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 be disappointed by that we have to have our foundation we have to have our cornerstone in Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone he is the only one who's going to sustain us and give us the power and the will to continue to move forward. It says in here, a foolish man built his house on the sand. It doesn't make any sense, right? We're all gonna face tribulation. We're all gonna face issues. We're all gonna have problems in our life. And it's like, it's like living next to a beach, right? In Florida or Texas and you know, hurricane seasons can come and you know they can come. It wouldn't make any sense for you to build a house right on the sand and a hurricane comes and it's just gonna completely ruin everything you've built, right? It's everything you've built. And I think the same thing happens when even when we become saved and Christians and believers and we accept that Jesus into our life, we become saved and we have that foundation of, of what to do. Jesus is our foundation. But then we start looking at the left, we start looking at the right and we start looking at all these worldly things saying, you know what, I'm saved, everything's gonna be okay. And then you start doing things as if what you do doesn't matter, but it does. Everything you do matters. Everything you say matters. I am not a perfect person by any means whatsoever, but the idea, the focus is our foundation is found in Christ and Christ alone. And so anything we do, we have to look for him for guidance, not because we're incapable of doing anything, but because Jesus is the ultimate example for us to do what he called us to do. He's called us as a purpose. He has a purpose for your life. He has a purpose for my life. And it's our responsibility to figure out what that is and, and to dive into that and to be light of the world. And some of you may be asking, well, what is that, Caleb? What does that look like in my life? What's the purpose in my life? What's the calling in my life? I think one of the easiest, maybe sometimes not always easiest, but one of the ways you can find that out is what makes you happy? What brings you joy? What are the things you enjoy doing? What makes, makes you happy when you see other people are doing those same actions? What comes natural to you? What Your gifts that are given to you come natural. And for others, it may not be. So something you can do, artistic abilities, singing, whatever it is, it kind of comes in in a sense like this really brings me fulfillment and that's the thing you should dive deeper into and sometimes it may be different for others but the idea is this guys we have to build our foundation with Christ and stop looking at what other somebody else's structure and how they're building their house what Jesus is using them is for them only and it's not gonna work for you if you try to copy somebody else's house and how that house is being built because that house is being built completely different for a different life for different situations for different relationships different friendships and so if you focus on them you're gonna miss what God is doing with you in your own house and what he's built with you he is walking with you Jesus was a carpenter he loves to build things he loves to mold things he loves to weld and connect and make you explore things but if you say Jesus don't worry I got this when the winds come and the floods are gonna come when they come 
what are you going to be left with? What are you going to be left with? Our foundation is found in Christ. And if we can do this, when those things come, we're going to rely on God. Like, Jesus, we've built this together. I haven't always been the best, but I've relied on you in every possible situation. I was guided by your guidance, and and I wanted you to be number one in my life, and you are number one in my life. Like, Jesus, we're going to make through it. He says, you guys will withstand the storm. And anybody who does not do this is a foolish man, and your house will fall. A great fall, not just a fall, but a great fall. Some of you are questioning, God, why aren't you helping me? Why didn't you help me during this situation? Why aren't you doing this? And you're blaming God for the very things you're doing. You're making mistakes. You gotta start taking responsibility for your actions. Me as well, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes each and every single day. I'm easily influenced and I hate when I do that and I don't like it and I'm hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. But the idea is this, guys, we have to be found in Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. We cannot and we do not have the power to do anything ourselves. But through Christ Jesus, we are able to do anything anything that we put our minds to and it's not because to give ourselves glory no it's to give Jesus glory for when he comes back and he is gonna come back and he's coming back soon we can be found with Jesus and with him so my question to you is what is your foundation and how are you building your house comparison is the ultimate thief of joy it steals your joy Stop looking at what your family is doing. Stop looking at what your friends doing and how they're building their house and how God is using them and you wish to have their gifts. Stop it. God has given you abilities. He's given you capabilities. He's given you visions and dreams and goals for yourself, for you to do, and for you to dive into that type of industry or whatever that is, a speaker, a minister, a pastor, um, making clothing or social media marketer, whatever it is. He has given you those very things for you to be the light of the world in that industry. Not Sally's and not Bob's, but your industry and what you need to do so he can allow Christ to be shown through you. And you just have to be the vessel and allow God to do that and handle the rest. It's not always going to make sense and you're never going to understand at all. I wish I could have, but I don't. I think it's a part of the journey, part of the adventure is not knowing and knowing that the Jesus and the God we serve knows all things and everything he does for us is for the greater good my question is you this is the last of it what foundation are you building on are you building your house on stand are you building your house with Jesus he is your cornerstone he's your rock and when things come and knocking on your door and they will who are you gonna rely on and who and what is gonna sustain you and I hope your answer is Jesus Christ thank you